Hello, this is Jeff Drugman with Bulldog Folding Trailers and today we're going to go over the wheel alignment for the Bulldog Folding Trailer. It is a very important procedure. It's not difficult, it just needs to be done correctly so that you can get the maximum tread life out of your tires. The first thing that you want to make sure of, a couple things actually. You want to make sure that the tire is not sitting up on the buckets any longer, that the tires are sitting on the floor or on the ground with the weight of the trailer on it. That way the swing arms are fully extended and that's the natural uh, position that they will be in whenever you're driving the trailer down the road. So you want to make sure that the tires are on the ground with the weight of the trailer on it. Also you want to make sure that the removable crossbar is in the uh, bracket and bolt it down securely and the strut is in the upright pinned position where it's pinned to the bracket on the removable crossbar uh, not in the keeper position that you keep it in when you're folding the trailer but in the upright pin position another uh, thing that I recommend is the bolts for the axle assembly these two bolts you want to have those fairly tight and I'm uh, not so tight that you can't adjust or move the tire but tight enough that whenever you you have to bump it with the palm of your hand or a rubber mallet in order to get it move because these measurements are kind of um, you know small you know you we're talking quarter eighth sixteenth inches so uh, you don't want to hit it and move it a half inch you know have these bolts tight enough that you know you have to kind of tap it a little bit to get it to move. Um, the other thing is you want to have your draw bar alignment done correctly and that procedure is outlined in other YouTube videos and also in the instruction manual. So make sure that you have the draw bar alignment done and also that you have the tongue of the trailer propped up on a five gallon bucket works great. So you have the tongue and the rear frame of the trailer all fairly level. It doesn't have to be exactly level, but close to level would be great. Okay, so getting on to the wheel alignment. What you want to do, uh, what, the, what, the, what the theory is behind the wheel alignment is that the wheel or tire need to be square with the trailer frame. So if it's, if it's square, then it's going to be rolling down the road and in, in a line with the uh, frame of the trailer. If it's skewed or towed out or severely towed in, then you're going to end up having premature tire wear. And uh, so we want to avoid that by doing the tire alignment correctly. So to start this off, you're going to measure from the front, front, and back, and you're going to measure to the frame, and this is what I'm calling the frame. And you need to pick a point, uh, we, we say the inside edge of the tire, and I'm talking where the sidewall and the tire tread meet. There's an edge right there. On a brand new tire, there's also a seam in the very middle of the tire that you can use to, as a reference point to measure to. But after, if you're doing this uh, procedure after you, you use the trailer, that seam may very well be uh, worn down. So uh, you can use the inside edge, and I'll also show you in a minute another way that you can measure using a straight edge on it. So. Uh, without further ado, uh, we're going to measure down and you want to have your tape coming at a right angle off of the um, <clears throat> frame of the trailer. So make sure it's as much of a right angle as possible and look straight down on your tape. And that measurement there is 26 inches. And that's from the frame to the inside edge. So we're going to measure on the rear of the tire, tire. So we're measuring here, and that measurement is 25 and 7 eighths. So what that means is that 
the rear of the tire is a shorter distance obviously so that means that it is towed out and that's not a good thing you want to have the tire either straight or square with the frame or towed in if you're unsure of your measurements when you're doing your measurements if you're unsure of getting it exact it's better to have the front of the tire towed in up to one eighth inch so that way so towed in that way what you do not want is it towed out that way so no on this yes on this up to an eighth of an inch so again we're going to measure so we got 25 and 7 eighths and we have Twenty five and five sixteenths. So we're going to bump this in just a little bit. So what I'm going to do is just take the palm of my hand and I'm going to just tap it. And what it's doing is it's pivoting on this bolt. You see the slotted bolt hole. So that allows some movement. This is a pivot bolt that doesn't move, but you can move the axle assembly whenever it's slightly loose. The bolt slightly loose on the in that pivot bolt hole so we're going to measure again just tap that in just a little bit more okay what if i loosened up those bolts in there oh yeah we got it to move that time so we've got 25 All right, so right now, the front of this tire is 25 and, make sure that's square, 25 and 7 eighths. In the rear of this tire, tire keep saying tire, uh, is just a snoosh over 26. So what that means, again, is that tire is slightly towed in, which is good. Actually, it's preferred if it's towed in just a little bit. So measure one more time. You know, like they always say, measure, measure twice, cut once. Same with aligning your tires. Uh, measure, so we've got 26 and just under 26. So now we're going to tighten this down. And what you want to do is have your 17 millimeter wrench, put it on top, and you want to tighten the hex nut down first. So get that nice and tight. And then Put your 17 millimeter wrench on the slotted adjustment hole and use your 15 millimeter wrench to tighten the flange nut down nice and tight. So I'm not going to tighten that all the way up because I'm going to remeasure one last time. Alright, so we have 26 inches and 25 and 7 eighths. So that's perfect. If it was exact, that would be just fine. An eighth inch towed in is, is, is just fine as well. So we're going to tighten that down. And you want to tighten that flange nut down tight. Because that's what's holding things in alignment. So what I like to do is I hold the uh, smaller wrench, 15 millimeter wrench, and then I use this bigger box wrench that has more leverage to really tighten that thing down. I mean, you don't tighten it down to where you're going to break it off, but tight. And then go back to your pivot bolt hole, same thing. It's always good to, again, be sure, 26. 
and 25 and 7 eighths. So that is aligned. And we would do the same for the other side, obviously. And so you'll want to do that procedure on the other side. And then your trailer is uh, aligned. Now, that being said, we really, really recommend take your trailer out for a spin. You know, uh, don't do all of this. You know, you've put it together. I'm sure you've done a great job, but hook it up to your tow vehicle and take it out for a 10 mile drive. Uh, make sure that way, you know, if there's anything that's loose, uh, you'll figure that out before you head out on a long road trip. Um, the other thing is whenever you're out driving on a trip, you know, stop and just take a look at the tires. You can, you rub your hand across them and if they feel really scuffed uh, or feathered, and feathered means that it's wearing and you get sharp edges on one side of the tread and the other side is smooth. So rub your hand over the tread and feel it. And uh, if you have something that's serious, then you probably want to look at the adjustment of your wheel tire, you may have, or, or your wheel alignment. You know, you may have hit a pothole or a speed bump or something, and just like with a car or anything, you know, you can knock something out of alignment. Uh, the other thing uh, is check the pressure of your tires. You know, these tires come in varying degrees of inflation and uh, it says on your tire label for the trailer 60 PSI, it says 60 PSI on here. Do not run your tires at 60 PSI. Run them if you're running just kayaks or you know a medium to light load, run them at 30 PSI, 3-0 PSI. Uh, if, you're, if you've got the trailer you know, with 700 pounds on it, put 35 PSI on it. But these tires are rated for a lot more weight than what uh, weight capacity than what your, this trailer is capable of hauling. And if you run them at overinflated PSI, the center of this tire will bulge out because it's meant to, under heavy loads, to uh, uh, you know, become flat. But if you're under a light load, it's going to bulge out and it only makes sense. You're only running on you know, the center tread or you know, center tread and part of the two uh, uh, neighboring treads and you'll start to wear you know, that down because you're only running on you know, a third of the tire. So that's something to uh, bear in mind. So anyway, that's it for now. I uh, hope that was helpful. Uh, again, this is Jeff with Bulldog Folding Trailers, and if you have any questions, feel free to uh, give, shoot me an email. Uh, I'm Jeff, J-E-F-F, -F, at bulldogfoldingtrailers.com, and you can call me. My number's on the website and um, enjoy your trailer. Thank you.